If you are developing a program that runs in background and you want to remote control it from another process, you could use Unix domain socket for that. This way, other than simply receiving a message, your program can also identify which process has sent the message and also reply with a message to the sender. But actually, if you don't need any of those, you might want to use Unix named pipe instead. You can create new pipe on certain file path using mk 5 for command, then you can read a data from the pipe just like reading a data from regular files. On Node.js, we can use async read file function for this and after the data is read from the pipe, we will print it. Now by putting this in infinite loop, this server will print a data every time someone writes one to the pipe. One thing to note here is that pipe files are different from regular files. While regular files store the data on physical drives, on Unix pipe file, all read and write will be done entirely on memory. I think the biggest benefit of using Unix pipe is the ease of writing a data to the pipe. Unlike Unix socket where we need some sort of setup to connect to the socket or use non-utility command line programs such as netcat and socket, writing to a pipe is really just like a write to regular files. If we use shell script, we only need single character to do this and we can do this easily in any practical programming languages. Here is how to do it in x86 assembly. That's the end of the video. Let me pipe you to another videos on my channel. Subscribe for more content. Thank you for watching and see you.